Do you know you can tune the intervals of your tremolo system? About 10 years ago, I was looking for tips and tricks on how to set up the tremolo system on my strap better, and I found a video from an Italian luthier that showed me something that blew my mind. You can tune this with nothing but a screwdriver and some post-it notes. Stick around, I gotta show you this. So 10 years ago, I found this video by this Italian luthier and I lost it after that. I could not find it again for the life of me because there was nothing really special in the title. It was just kind of like how to set up a two point floating bridge or something like that. And in the middle of it, he talked about this really, really cool and novel thing as if it was like normal. And it was this idea of tuning the top three strings so that they reach a certain interval when you pull up on the tremolo arm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the G to be a step and a half higher. We're gonna set the B up to be a step higher. You got right here. It gives you cool, cool stuff you can do. And then the E will go up a half step. Let me show you how. All right, so we got the strat here. First thing you wanna do is you wanna take a measurement right here on your high E and your low E between the bottommost fret and the string there. And the reason for that is, is because your action is going to change as a result of this, just a little tiny bit, and you wanna be able to just lower it right back down. So get those figures, write them down, and then come on back here. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is we're going to take these two screws here and we're going to tighten them. And uh, these are already pretty tight because that's how I roll, but here we go. All right, so what you should see here is that the bridge is actually grounded to the guitar. It is not going anywhere, but it can go up. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert the tremolo arm back into the guitar. And then we are going to take our post-it notes from before. And what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna lift the tremolo arm and find as enough post-it notes that it will end up being set parallel with the body. So let me see here. What we want it to do is want it to ultimately end up being just completely parallel with the rest of the body. So this is too much right here. So I'm gonna pull a few. And then, yeah, kind of hard to see. And I apologize for that. It is perfectly parallel with the body. All right, so now that we have the post-it notes on there, since we're gonna be concentrating on the G only, we're gonna take a look at what the tuning is on the G. It's down to about an F sharp. We're gonna tune it up to pitch. All right, so we decided that we want the G string to bend a step and a half. So if it's at a G right now, step and a half would be an E. So let's take this post-it note out, depress the, depress the arm until you get to an E. And then once you're there, find as many post-it notes as it takes to retain that E. It's so here, it's, it's really hard to get this to be exact. So if you're trying to get it to be exact, it's gonna be, it's gonna be tough. Um, but I got pretty darn close there with an E. So we have that going. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're gonna tune the guitar to pitch with this in and our G string registering as an E. So before when you did this, you could, we were trying to get a tune with this, you get as close as possible. With this, you want it to be as exact as you can possibly get on it. And um, so check it 
a number of times, make sure the guitar is tuned to pitch. Come on back here. Okay, so we have the guitar tuned to pitch. Now we are going to take the post-it note out of there. And it is extremely out of tune. And now this is where it gets super cool and fun. We're going to take the tremolo arm off again. And we're essentially going to tune our guitar with the springs. So we go to the low E. That's reading F sharp. All right, and so now we have the guitar tuned to pitch. Back again. So there you go, super, super simple, very, very cool, really, really fun, can change everything, and all with just some post-it notes and some screwdrivers. How cool is that? So, until next time, I will see you when I see you.